everybody and welcome thank you for joining me and I hope you're having a good day. We are continuing our playthrough of Ultimate General American Revolution. It's now November of 1775. Winter has set in. We have won a significant battle, a couple of significant battles actually, in Boston and in Salem where we pretty much dismantled the British units that were here. Uh, and now we are moving in as winter sets in more into more of a defensive posture. Although we will probably still launch some offensives, we are worried about the invasion fleet that landed in Falmouth and is now threatening our north here. Uh, but like I said, we're more worried about uh, expanding our footing a little bit in terms of getting us ready to march north to Montreal and Quebec as the year passes and we get into more of the springtime temperatures uh, that's when we're probably going to open up and really go after Montreal and Quebec. Uh, we probably won't do too much on the army front uh, until then. Like I said, we we explained in the last episode how I probably will try and take Fort Stevens back. And then maybe Fort Lovell as well. Maybe try and secure these forts and then move towards Hubbardton. And, the, and then Fort Frederick where we'll sort of use that area to launch a multi-pronged attack I'm thinking probably through the mountains here hitting Burlington and Fort St. John's at relatively the same time and then moving on to Fort St. Chambly. At least that's the plan obviously things could change dramatically between now and then as as I said we left off with it looking like the British have taken a defensive posture now around this area but that could change as we begin to maneuver troops around. We are going to have to keep enough troops in Portsmouth and Salem to really mount a good defense. We can't just leave them completely outnumbered. But we're thinking, I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave all my regular army troops. So the continental troops that we have here uh, in Leicester. These troops that we have currently in Boston. Uh, we do have a unit in Salem and another unit in Portsmouth. We probably will move all these units up to Portsmouth, maybe leaving a unit, a militia unit in Salem and a militia unit in Leicester, uh, just as uh, support, just as supports for the units we have in Portsmouth in case the British do decide to start heading south on an offensive. Now, like I said, we're taking a more defensive stance, but that doesn't mean we're gonna be doing nothing uh, like I said, we are going to be recovering here, try and get all these forces back up to full strength. As you can see, we are still having an officer issue, but we do have a lot of schoolhouses being built all around, as well as a few other things such as stables that should help with uh, resources. And we are working towards the college, the intelligence agency, uh, which will help with our research speed and get us to college, which we can use to upgrade some of our schoolhouses which would of course get us more officers on a daily. Now we're also working on production of United States muskets. We're producing 39 a day, which has put us at 156. So we could actually equip another unit, except we're gonna wait till these guys start getting a little more fully fleshed out. Although this unit is, so maybe we could actually start filling in the needs of this unit, although didn't we give a lot of U.S. muskets away? Maybe not. Thought I had a unit that had U.S. muskets. They all have brown besses in that unit. Maybe it was over here, one of these units. No, they don't have brown besses. No, I guess none of my units yet have. U.S. muskets? I thought I had the units with U.S. muskets, but I could be wrong. Maybe it was this one down here. Yeah, these guys have the U.S. muskets. So we'll probably wait until these guys get fully equipped before starting to give out other U.S. muskets. But we do want to start spreading the love around with some of our weapons, but it's going to be much easier once we know, once we get all these units fully equipped. Although, I should move this guy's priority up. Because they're not fully st staffed yet, but it's showing them as fully staffed. I don't understand. So yeah, they have like three units that still need troops. 
but it's not showing them as actually gaining any troops. Maybe they will over the next few days. But anyway, like I was saying, as we wait for all them to gather up, we are actually going to turn our focus onto the Navy. And one of the things I was thinking I might do to try and help out our Navy is actually to sell, decommission and sell these three cutters. Because they're really not going to do too much and use the money that we get, as well as the guns, to try and get another six rate, maybe even two more six rates to sort of flesh out our Navy capabilities over here maybe just sell two let's sell two at first and see if that gives us enough because i think you can only take six ships into battle anyway but we're definitely going to decommission two of these guys and see if that gives us enough to actually sell to buy a, another six right here so let's come up to our marketplace we're gonna take this and we're gonna actually we can't even buy there's we bought the only one that was on the market so maybe we'll at least buy the seventh rate we can actually buy two seventh rates oh no we can't we can buy one seventh rate we could probably sell some other goods Maybe some of these civilian muskets. Probably not, though. I don't want to go too crazy. Let's bring all our resources except for horses. I don't want to sell too much wood because we are producing a lot of muskets now. I'll bring that down to 25. I guess we could sell all of our copper because we're still not producing any at the moment. Don't want to sell any iron. Maybe we'll bring saltpeter down because we're not producing too much ammo at the moment any goods we can sell we have all these textiles go ahead and sell them for now don't have any furs we might be able to sell some of the cannon I'm not sure how much the brigs are gonna actually take so let's come over here buy two of the brigs again we're just trying to build up our navy some and then we're gonna go ahead and put them in we probably will actually have to buy some cannons it looks like yeah because we're not gonna have quite enough we're gonna have to buy 12 cannon and in order to do that I think we're probably gonna have to sell maybe we go ahead sell those two 12 pounders that give us enough money to buy the cannon it will we actually had enough we didn't have to buy, sell those 12 pounders but we did just because I mean if we end up losing one in battle we could always buy the two that we had in storage back but we really can't do too much anyway so we might as well Did I not create that ship? What happened? Great. We have the 18 guns. We don't have enough officers, so go figure. Okay. Well, again, I don't know if we can actually... Let's go ahead and sell this one as well. Because we really, like I said, we really need to start getting better with our Navy. Uh, I think overall he's a better commander. We can actually sell some of those guns as well that we have if we need to. So it's going to take a little bit of time for these guys to fully equip. Although there is plenty of recruits over here but I think officers is where they might be lacking it may take some them some time so that gives us 142 guns amongst six ships the British I believe have six ships with 150 guns in the sound here the idea is we're gonna try and take some of them hopefully they have some of the bigger ships and we can start replacing some of these brigs and the six rate 
or some of the bigger ships that the British may have uh, floating around if we can take it. That's the idea at least. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fast forward a few days as our fleet sort of builds up its manpower again. And again, we're just going to keep an eye on the British movements. Well, we got a nice donation of 2,000 gold. I'll always take that. I believe we are actually moving this unit back up to Fort Ticonderoga. So yeah, it doesn't look like the British are advancing anywhere. Uh, okay, Lord Dunmore's proclamation, basically saying that uh, slaves who fight for England will get their uh, uh, freedom, sorry. So there's two ships right here. I'm actually very... I wish I knew what those were. Very interested in maybe just popping out with these three. Maybe even this one. And just hunting down that ship. They already moved off, so I don't know about that. I'm going to send Bandit out on a little bit of a reconnaissance run. See what they have up at Fort Lovell. Because we know Fort Stevens had about 600 men. We actually can recruit another army unit. So Fort Lovell has about 730 Hoverton has been garrisoned. They, they weren't garrisoned before. Okay, so we finished the Navy. Um, let's go after maintenance costs going down. Cause we're not in a position to start producing ships just yet. We're still way too early in that to really worry about that. So yeah, let's go after production or shit, maintenance costs going down. That would unlock the next one, which is even more ship maintenance costs going down. Anything that helps our finances would be what we really want to look at. So Fort Frederick looks like they might be getting reinforcements. I'm not sure. Alright, so we have some forces under Otter moving out. I'm not sure where they're going. I can't tell they're moving down to cut off our supply, which it looks like that's what they're doing. So what we're going to do, let's move this force out of Fort Rice. And let's move out this unit. Uh, creeks are rising. That actually got them to turn around, but it might be prudent for us to maybe just go after them. We outnumber them just slightly. All right. Well, we caught them out in the open. They actually have they have a full regiment. Over 600 men. It's just we only have militia. And they do have a cannon. So this is going to be an interesting battle. We do outnumber them. It is raining, which doesn't bode too well either. Let the British come to us.
guess they're just barely out of range for our shot because they weren't shooting any shot into these men Extend our flank a little. Okay, there we go. That looked like they might have been shooting shot. There we go. Let's turn our attention to that group of men over there. British are playing a little conservatively. Usually, I feel like they usually charge militia like this. But I guess the cannon is sort of... I have, has them at a worrying, I guess? I don't know. Because, yeah, usually we see regulars charging militia a lot more than they are. Or if they haven't even yet. Fortunately, again, these guys are just out of range. That was a very bad volley. That last shot got some people in the other unit. They are not doing very good against that unit. Again, they are just out of range of actually being able to shoot shot into them. Let's speed this up, because I am very content with the way we're holding. To just keep holding like this. If the British aren't gonna charge us. This unit up slightly because it looks like they're just out of range. Fortunately, ammunition is starting to wane down a bit. Flip to that side. I'm wondering if our, our line of sight. No, their line of sight is pretty good. I thought maybe those trees might have been blocking their line of sight to that unit, but that doesn't seem to be the case. And that unit has responded. They started starting to come back in. That was a very bad, bad volley. Not our most experienced gun crew, obviously. Let's actually turn it back to that because they look like they might be coming in range of shot here in a minute. Nice volley into them. That's what we're talking about. Let's we'll start curving around this unit over here. Now that we've sort of cleared this flank a bit. Although they are coming back.
Alright, let's see how we do against the charge. Do I not charge you in? I think I might have clicked too many times. Secure difficulty? Hard? I don't know what that means. Get this cannon up there for some better sight lines. Hopefully, we can get these guys to surrender. Unfortunately, not. We weren't able to get them to surrender. They just fired, so let's charge in before they can reload. Okay, well, I thought they just fired. Maybe they had one more unit with cannon in it. I don't see any of them reloading, so... They came in with some pretty good morale, so hopefully we can break them. Those two militiamen fighting each other out here? I'm sure that's just a glitch, but that does look pretty hilarious. Looks like they're trying to head back to their artillery. Alright, so we got them to break. Take their guns? So yeah, let's go ahead and take that guns from them. And they're routing. So let's charge after. Those guys. Can Arnold actually attack? No, he can't. Hoping to get a surrender, but it doesn't look like we will. Yeah, we weren't able to get any of them to surrender. Alright, that's fine. So, very one-sided victory here. Uh, only leaving them with about 200 men. Maybe we can get them to sur do a surrender on the global map. unfortunate. I was hoping we could get a surrender, but that's not the end of cards. Alright, let's get these troops back to Fort Rice, as well as Prescott back to Ticonderoga. Connecticut, our loyalty in Connecticut's not terrible, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're able to get some ammunition, and that's good, from the British. Alright, let's get Prescott and Arnold back to Ticonderoga. Actually, let's send Arnold back down to Fort Rice. In fact, let's have him do go out on a little bit of a scouting mission. See if my navy is quite there yet. It's not quite there. We're not getting any men. Not enough officers. We don't need... Alright, so we can do that. Let's refill copper as well. Um, 
Hmm. Trying to think what would be a good one to go after. Cam and sites would actually bring up our army limit, but we're not in a position where I, I think I really need that. Coming now that we're in the winter, it might be good to come after material procurement, procurement, because then we get plus five unit provisions. I don't know if that means they can carry more provisions or they just get that. Or we can build a supply house and go after even more research speed. Which actually would unlock more firearms production. Hmm. Let's go after material pro procurement. And as much as I hate to spend more reputation, I think we do need to go ahead and because we need the officers all over the board. Because, I mean, we need them up here. Because I think that's where we need... Yeah, not enough officers. It's just all across the board with us. So, Hubberton has a 600-man garrison. That's what I wanted to see. Get him back in Fort Rice. <clears throat> Alright, so we were able to get that done. So we can either go after plus one gun production, six pound field guns. Um. the decisions because we can either get try and get mortars which will also open up howitzers for us or we can go after gun production which would unlock quicker gun production all across the board for us hmm but we're also not producing any cannon yet and we do actually could have to also go after the six pound field guns and improve all of our guns if we start building some cannons. Because we're not actually building guns at the moment, so I don't know if the gun production would actually help us at all. Whereas we could also unlock the ironworks as well, plus more research speed. I think we're going to go after the six pound field guns. I think that makes the most, most sense. It will allow us to start actually producing guns. I mean, which we could do right now as well. I'm wondering if I shouldn't start financing or raising some funds as well, seeing as that's available to us. Yeah, we might as well. We'll hold off on Dragoons. It's going to be a little while before we mount any assault, so. Might as well wor work on Dragoons. Fortunately, none of the officers that we got came south here to build up our navy. However, they did also... Actually, we what we need to do, I think... We might want to look at possibly replacing some of these units. We don't have the ability to upgrade them right now to Fusilier units. So some of these units we might want to think about. Uh, New York. I don't know if I want to hurt loyalties new, to New York. We're just starting to get them in pretty good shape. Although we need the money. But we can always sell some stuff. Uh, again, we need officers. I'm wondering if we look at just disbanding these two units. Oh, I guess this unit, because that one's the militia. So yeah, let's go ahead and disband this unit. That will help out a little bit. Because again, we just don't have the officers right now to be able to upgrade them to the Fusiliers. 
even though they're a little bit more of an experienced unit, it would be nice to actually have some of these officers spread out a little. Personally, I'd rather just try upgrading them. Not enough muskets. What muskets are they missing? Hunter rifles. So I think it's just not enough wagons. Not enough Charlevilles. Hmm. Wonder if we just start replacing some of the Charlevilles. Seeing as that was that's what they're missing. Let's go ahead, give them some United States muskets. In fact, let's give this whole unit United States muskets. And that way we can use the, those firearms and sort of spread them around to other units as well. So that should help out. Because again, they, these guys just have hunters and civilians, right? Yeah, so what we could technically do... So we only have four hunters and... So they're never going to be up there. So let's go ahead and give two of these units some... Spanish 55s and maybe some brown besses. Not sure if we're going to be taken away from other units. We'll see. We'll work it all out as these units start to fill up. We have some more officers now, so hopefully that should help. Uh, we could do recruitment of low ranking officers again, which I think we will do. I don't want to replace that. Don't want to replace that either because we might need copper here shortly. This one's too far away, so we'll put that there. It's going to take some time because I'm not going to spend any more reputation right now on it. But it will allow us to at least start working towards that. And we may need to look at some of our resources. We're not producing too much ammunition at the moment. So I don't mind selling a bit of coal and saltpeter because I believe those are the two that are used for ammunition production and guns but we're not actually building any guns yet and when it says guns it means artillery guns we're not building anything here as well so let's go ahead and sell down to 30 we're so because we're not building anything and again we're not building anything with copper at the moment we have some furs and some textiles we can sell but we'll hold on to them for now We'll see how long that lasts us. Let's take a look. That's something we haven't looked at in a while is how our loyalties are doing. New York is doing pretty good. It's just this province up here where Fort Saratoga and Fort Ticonderoga are that are struggling. But even then we're above 40. And then we have Fort Rice. That area is sort of struggling. I believe that's part of New York as well. Yeah, I think that's also part of New York. So that's where our loyalties are sort of waning up here. We actually have some pretty good loyalties up in these areas that we haven't taken yet. As well as in New Hampshire. Uh, Boston is starting to come back from being totally British loyal. They're at 22% at the moment. They're building a schoolhouse, but we might build a church after a schoolhouse is built. That way we can get a little bit more loyalty bonus out of this as well. Because, I mean, we could build another carpenter shop. We could also build an armory or even a recruiting house. But I don't know if we're going to have too many issues with recruits. How are these ships doing? We have one more ship to complete. I don't want to sail out until they're all complete. It would be nice to have a ship sail in this episode, though. Oh. We have another group of troops coming down. I hate continuously pulling the... That group in Fort Rice, I don't think... 
has really um trying to select these two. And I'm pretty sure they're going after Fort Saratoga again. Just have them all start marching down. Civilian muskets, we can afford to give up some civilian muskets for a couple furs. Alright, here we go, another battle. Fortunately, I thought we'd see some naval combat this this uh, playthrough, but apparently it's mostly going to be land engagements. Alright. So, very similar to the last engagement. Let's get our bearings. Where's our cannon? We'll get our cannon set up. this other 176 man unit come down here and we'll move them back so this is kind of Thankfully, we seem to be in a pretty good spot where they'd have to come out of this tree line to match us. So we seem to be... I like this positioning. Let's have the guns hold fire for now. To the British start to push a little bit more. Open up a volley right into them. I was hoping they'd be close enough. I guess it is a little bit of shell, but it wasn't quite close enough to get a good volley in. Alright, let's start wrapping around. Alright, well that was quick work out of those units. Not sure where that light infantry unit went.
Oh, they have some grenadiers. I know that light, ah, uh, they're coming in from behind. Give the cannon a little bit more space to breathe. Sure, where that light infantry unit went. Sort of disappeared in the fog of war there. Try and get these civilian muskets in right on top of them. Actually, let's hold these guys here. Out of the way, our artillery still has a clear lane. Should be sending show right down, right down their flank here. If we're lucky, they'll get a good volley off here. I mean, they didn't really kill much, but they were able to shatter them. At least hurt their morale. Keep pushing forward with that militia, I guess. Some units coming back, so we'll move that or them to respond to them. Hopefully, these guys get a shot off here in a minute. A little too late, but we got them to route from the field. Not sure what those grenadiers are doing. And we got them to route. So unfortunately they're gonna be too far away. Might be able to catch catch them. We'll send those two after that artillery. And we'll charge in after him. Get a few volleys off. Try to just get them enough to break them. I thought we should charge in with that unit as well. Obviously didn't.
don't think we're going to be able to catch him. But as long as we can break the artillery, I think it'd be a job well done. It'd just be one less artillery battery, but it looks like we're not going to be able to get him in time. And we just got some friendly fire from our artillery. And that unit's not going to make it in time. Okay, so we weren't able to completely break them. We did take less casualties than they did. We did take two of their guns, or made them lose two of their guns. Alright, let's see if we can't get them to break. Now, okay, just get back to Fort Ticonderoga. We'll have Arnold take the supplies. We don't really have. Wonder. Alright, uh, our government efficiency has been reduced, which I think that affects our finances. So, even though we built a recruiting house in Albany, it doesn't look like we're actually really getting any effect for additional recruits. So, there's no point recruiting anybody out here. We did, uh. I'm wondering if it's might not be a bad idea seeing as they seem to keep wanting to go after Fort Saratoga Fort Rice doesn't seem to be getting any attacks so I'm wondering if it might not be a bad idea just to send Leffler over to Saratoga in hopes that they stop attacking us there hopefully that doesn't leave Fort Rice too outgunned but then again we could always Rhode Island, yeah, we'll take that extra money. We could always raise another unit. We do have some recruits laying about. Oh, we have a lot of recruits in Leicester. If we really felt like it, we could send some more troops to Fort Rice just to uh, equip some more. Did we lose a... Another unit? Okay, we can assign projects. Okay, so we got the intelligence agency, so we might want to look at being able to start knocking out some of these colleges. Um, so we got reporting. I'm looking at I think I want to look at stuff that maybe gives me better loyalty, like this one did, the Intelligence Network. But I'm actually not seeing much in the way of gaining extra loyalty anywhere. This, uh, here's some on this, so maybe we go after this and try getting some extra loyalties. Maybe even head towards newspaper, which probably will help increase the loyalties of regions by putting in a newspaper. That actually might help. That actually might be what we want, want to go for. And then there's also secret foreign aid, which could help. This increases counter-sabotage. Yeah, let's go after intelligence strategies. And we don't need to do refill ammunition. I think we're okay with ammunition at this point. Oh no, we're still struggling with ammunition, actually. Interesting. We're almost at refill copper. A few more days on re raising funds. We still need officers. So let's take a look. Where do we have? Let's go ahead. We probably have enough where we can. Let's find some places that have good construction. And have some colleges being built in those areas. We had a little bit of extra money to do so. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for them to be built. I didn't see what it said. Alright, and now we can start fast forwarding a few days. Let's get these guys into the garrison at Ticonderoga. Restructuring the Northern Command, another 13,000 troops. 
for the British. Not sure why these guys don't want to get into the garrison. Garrison Fort Saratoga. There we go. Again, struggling with officers. But like I said, I really want my ships to be built or finished. That was the whole point of this episode was actually to try and get our Navy going. But officers continues to be an issue. Quickly are they being built? Looks like it might be done in like four or five days over here and then not as quickly as in Hartford. Might have actually been better to build the schoolhouse over here. This would be 14 days over here. We'll spend that money. We are going to have to go to the marketplace and see what we can sell. Um, let's sell half of our civilian muskets. Let's leave us with 300 of those we'll go ahead and sell these excess gun naval guns we never did sell the cutter so I guess we can sell the cutter that actually puts us in a pretty good spot for now we're finally getting some forces get up there actually we need a supply we need another wagon, don't we? Are there wagons available in the marketplace yet? No. Okay. So, we're going to have to possibly think about uh, get them going back on qualified engineers. One more day for raising funds. That should help get us working towards Dragoons again. Uh, changing international relations. And get them going on Dragoons again. 31 more days and 2 Dragoons. That's really going to help us when we decide to start going out and trying to capture more provinces again. But this is killing me. I'm wondering if it's not... If it wouldn't hurt to maybe knock down some of these units. Maybe take some of the ones that aren't as experienced... Maybe some ones that are farther back. And then just rebuilding them later once everybody gets back up to full strength. Might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. We have these two units back here. They're very... They don't really have too much experience. And then we'll take, what's our lowest one that doesn't have as He actually has some experience, so does he, so does he. He doesn't. So maybe, let's get rid of this unit as well. And hopefully, that gives us 38 officers. That should hopefully bolster our troops up. And get hopefully most of these guys up to full strength. Let's actually come to production as well. I think we do need to start working on some uh, some wagons. Actually, I don't want to affect this. So we'll just rent out another factory for now to get some wagons going. That gives us one per day, that's fine. I'm okay with doing one per day. Let's just get it down to, there we go. Just in case we decide to buy more factories that we can put towards the US rifles. Eh, I don't want to do that. 
There we go. Alright, so let's see what happens now that we have 38 officers. So that... Not sure if that did what we wanted it to do, necessarily. I guess it did. A lot of our units are pretty much at full strength now. Yeah, yeah, you don't have enough wagons, we know. So that did actually help bolster some of our troops up. And they're only gaining more as we speak. Did that help with our ships, though? Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can pick a fight, and that's how we'll end this episode. Let's get these guys going. Search for enemy ships. Let's actually save. So yeah, we save just to be safe. Let's see if we can't. We did pick a fight right off the bat. Is this good for us? We could get another six rate. And we could, if we capture both of these ships, we have the ability to basically gain... Actually, I'm not too worried about the brig. I wouldn't mind getting this six rate, though, and just keeping and adding that to our fleet. Because aren't these fifth rates? Oh, no, they're six rates. I thought I had... Okay, so there's just two different types of six rates. So we have a, the sloop, and then we have corvette. So we'd add another corvette to our fleet. We could capture both and just sell the brig, though. So let's try and do that. All right, so what we're going to do... I'm going to immediately want to move everybody to... Grape shot. And we want to get everybody turning into the wind. Or turning into them. Split their formation. I actually have a lot of troops. Well, I guess these are our bigger ships. This is, I guess, one of our brigs. Like we might capture him on this. I was actually worried this guy was actually starting to do a little bit more damage than I meant for him to do. We were actually taking damage from him. And maybe we can board with this ship here. take them.
want to take the brig. It looks like it's faster than our six rates, though. Watch where you're firing. You're killing our own men. Maybe use this brig to slow him down. Because he's definitely faster than our ships. <laughs> Literally going to try throwing my brig into him. Not sure what's going on. He doesn't seem to have the right angle to board. This is silly. I hate that you can't zoom out enough. Oh no, we lost that ship. We lost one of our brigs just to be able to take this guy. You think they would just surrender? Alright, now you have the right angle now. Can't believe we sacrificed one of our ships just to be able to capture him. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, it's all green. There we go. Not enough space. Hold on. Where's that? Where's that one brig? I think we should be able to... Okay, we took it. Never mind. Alright. So, we lost a brig to capture a brig, but we also captured another 6 rate. Do we have another battle? Eh. I don't know if this is a good idea. I wonder if we just let this one play out and see what happens.
Because you do get a big reputation gain if you just sink the enemy ships. As much as I'd love to, because these were what? More six rates? Cerberus class cor Corvettes. I wonder if we try and take them and just have a whole flight of six rates and just drop all the brigs. Maybe we'll just let it play out a little bit more. Alright, let's go ahead and go into battle. And see what happens. Maybe capture two more of these guys. I hate that you can't zoom out. Alright, we're... So what do we got? We got 67 men there. And 43. So let's have this guy go after the Mimi. And the Nyad, let's have him go after this one. We should be able to board with no issues. Let's see. Boarding, we should take relatively easily. Oh no! We'll send this ship over. Oh no, they're flooding, I don't know. Uh, we accidentally sunk that one. We actually have to board. Alright. Get him over there. Oh no, that one's flooding as well. And there's nobody on board. Don't loot. Don't go under. Don't go under. Wait, what happened? Wait, what's going on? Why can't we... What is going on? It's because that ship's sinking. It was. Dang it. Alright, well. That's unfortunate. Well, dang. Okay, we'll have these guys return back to port. We did get... It was a positive. Like I said, we lost a brig. But then we also gained another 6 rate. So, net, all in all, net positive. There's still two more ships sailing the sound just 246 guns which means they probably maybe a brig in the six straight possibly that's what it would sound like to me we did get some experience so that's good let's get their morale up on all these guys who gained experience yes Rhode Island will definitely take that So, a bit of a longer episode today, everyone, but I appreciate you all sticking around. These actually got two, so we're going to go ahead and have them board, get some hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. So, these guys all do need to repair and recrew. Thankfully, though, we should start seeing our officer issues resolve now that we've gotten rid of some of our units that no longer really matter at the moment let's go ahead and start getting another college built we have some funds and it looks like we also finished anything we need to do down here could do raising funds again let's just get them going back on six pound artillery we don't 
we won't do raising funds at the moment, seeing as it looks like we're in pretty good shape. All in all, not too bad. We played a couple skirmishes, we took a couple ships, and I think this is a successful episode to really start getting going into the winter campaign. Like I said, won't be doing too much campaigning. Uh, really just looking at getting all these guys up to full strength and then start shifting all my militia to start taking these areas. Like I said, going to use the regular army, maybe even raise another regular army unit and let the militia go forward. Not enough provisions now. So yeah, we knew that was going to be an issue. Which is weird because it looks like we have provisions. They are going up in Portsmouth. So I'm not sure why they're having much provision issues, but that is going to be something that's going to plague us uh, throughout the uh, the winter months. So that's another reason why I'm not too worried about going too crazy and expanding too much at the moment. And like I said, really just building up, focusing on the Navy into the spring, really. Like I said, we might venture out and capture a few like Fort Stevens, maybe Hubberton, maybe Fort Frederick if we get a good opportunity to do so. We actually are starting to gain troops back here at Fort Ticonderoga, so we might actually see an, uh, us venture out at some point and maybe finally take Fort Frederick that's been ailing us with all these assaults that they've been sending at us. So yeah, again, thanks for, for watching. I know this was a longer episode, but we definitely had some fun. Or at least I did. Hopefully it was enjoyable. Hopefully I didn't meander too much, and like I'm doing now. I, but yeah, as always, everybody, thank you, and well, bye.